We're now starting our uh, tour. It's day five. We're in uh, Melvern, M-E-L-V-E-R-N, -E uh, Kansas. And we're standing in uh, a soybean field that was planted on May 20th. Um, probably got about uh, eight to 10 inches of rain here in the last six months. It's an average field, but it looks like it's coming through. Uh, pretty good and uh, it's not the best fields we've seen thus far, but I, I think for Kansas it's a pretty decent field so uh, Just some quick facts about Kansas uh, Winter wheat is uh, rated 12% good to excellent. We've got a lot of winter wheat that's being harvested here in Kansas uh, Corn is 55% good to excellent and soys are 61% corn in 2013 averaged um, 125 bushels per acre and 1296 Soy's average 36 and 13 versus 12 at 22. Uh, we're now staying st in front of another soybean field. Um, we're kind of in a, a, a valley here in Melbourne, uh, Kansas on Robert and Brandon's um, um, acres and there's a river and a creek over there in the far end and we've got some corn on the far side there and th these are really good looking fields here. Robert says that the, this field can flood uh, at times but we're in a dry spell now and uh, um, he did spray for some weed control but uh, we got some blooming going on in here as well some flowers uh, so you know as long as it gets uh, moisture and uh, the month of July and of course the beans need the moisture through that late August September um, this crop looks good and it's on the verge of uh, probably doing above average well we finally found some more uh, corn that's twice my size we found some in Lafayette Indiana and we're in Kansas and we've been talking about how dry Kansas Dakotas Texas have been but that the, the southern part of uh, Kansas has been really dry this has got some decent moisture as long as we get some moisture again that's kind of the trend through July uh, there is some heat coming um, but uh, it's also got two cobs on it so this is looking good we got this corn cob here early corn cob that has 16 rows on it so that's uh, what you're looking for I don't see any disease pressure whatsoever so we're on the verge of a above average crop here yep. uh, we're in a hard red winter wheat field here in Melvern uh, Kansas and this wheat fields in a little bit of clay um, there's been a mix of you know planted too early some planted later a little bit of cold weather and maybe uh, too much moisture but overall doesn't look bad uh, not gonna be a, a big yielding crop but uh, uh, the farmer suggested probably about around 30 bushels per acre or so. We continue our U.S. crop tour We're in front of a soybean field. We're south of uh, Concordia, Kansas. We're traveling northwest through uh, Kansas and uh, we got a really good decent uh, soybean field here. Um, pretty uniform. Not quite as tall as some of the beans we've seen. I don't see much flowering there but uh, uh, it's been a beautiful day. It's been sunny. Uh, no rain today. We've got some heat, um, 85 plus, and um, some of the fields we have seen some water though. There has been some rain here. We're, we we did see some standing water. Some of the corn acres uh, not as tall as we've seen in other states, but uh, we are seeing a lot of uh, guys combining and harvesting hard red winter wheat. Uh, we're in front of some hard red winter wheat fields here near Jewel, in Jewel County near Jewel, uh, Kansas. And uh, you see in the background, doing a lot of harvesting here. You got more than one combine working away. And uh, Kansas is busy harvesting some wheat. Uh, uh, this wheat looks pretty decent. And, um, um, but the rest of the crops here in Kansas are a little bit behind schedule. We're concluding our tour in Kansas. We're in front of a soybean field and uh, Kansas is more famous for wheat production, sorghum and beef production. Kansas this year planted about 4.1 uh, million acres to corn in the southeast portion. We were down there when we began our tour and the corn looked really good. Still needed some rain, needed some heat to, to finish. It was uh, in the process of pollinating. Some of the corn was already pollinated. Um, they planted about 4.25 million uh, acres of beans this year. 
about 18% more than last year. And uh, uh, again, the southern part of Kansas looks uh, a little bit further ahead than the uh, northern part, but this wheat field, sorry, um, bean field looks pretty decent here. Uh, so to uh, rate the corn, wheat, and we did see a lot of wheat harvest. Uh, if, you're, if you're watching the video, we got some really good footage there. Uh, yields averaging between 15 on the low end and 50 on the high end, uh, the hard red winter wheat. So, uh, so to rate the crops, uh, again, the wheat probably coming in on average. Uh, Kansas is, from what we've been told from farmers, Kansas experienced a lot of uh, different variables in terms of weather. They had dryness, too much rain, some frost issues. So um, I'm going to have to rate uh, Kansas probably average to below average in, in most cases for these crops. Probably one of the worst states we've traveled through thus far. Uh, it's been five states since we've started our tour. So, um, But uh, we still got a lot of big growing season ahead. So uh, a little bit behind, but uh, nonetheless, I think uh, uh, they can uh, do well if, if they get more rain and the heat shows up. It was a nice sunny day today, uh, lots of heat, uh, so that should help the crops.